Hi boys and girls, we're ready for lesson 16-3, which is continue to classify quadrilaterals. So what it wants us to do here is it wants us to look at these shapes and put them into lists for, is it a parallelogram? Is it a rectangle? Is it a square? Is it a rhombus? So let's start with, um, let's start with some trapezoids. Let's look through and see if we can find some trapezoids. That's not a trapezoid, not a trapezoid. R is definitely a trapezoid. So I'm cross that one off. Because um, if it's a if it's a trapezoid, it's not a parallelogram, it's not a rectangle, it's not a square, it's not a rhombus. Um, and then looks like O is a tra trapezoid. S up here is a trapezoid. Q is nothing, I don't think. Kind of keep that in my mind. Um, and then U. Oh, it's like the Princess Bride. R O U S's. I don't think they exist. Anyway, um, so there's your trapezoids, um, and now it wants to look us to look at the parallelogram. So remember, a parallelogram is one that has two sets of parallel lines. So looks like G is a parallelogram, M is a parallelogram, L is a parallelogram, V and N are all parallelograms. Now I'm going to look for rectangles. Looks like just G. So G is both a parallelogram and a rectangle. That's fun. Uh, let's look for um, squares. I don't see any squares. I'm just going to leave that open. Um, and then rhombusi or rhombuses. Um, v is definitely a rhombus. Um, I'm looking at these other parallelograms, definitely not same side length, definitely not same side length, definitely not same side length. So um, honestly, I wish this activity was a little better. It would be cool if there were several squares. You could say, okay, so all the squares are also rectangles and various other things of that nature. But um, this is this is okay. This is not so bad. Um, if we flip it over, it does have this kind of cool little um, flow chart. So a square is a rectangle and a parallelogram and a quadrilateral and also a rhombus. Um, a rhombus is a parallelogram, a rhombus, a parallelogram and a quadrilateral. Trapezoid is just a quadrilateral. Um, and so that kind of shows you just a different way to classify quadrilaterals.